Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome, uh, dear students. Today uh, we will discuss about the ECG. And uh, so, first of all, I would uh, definitely ask you guys, uh, what is your idea about ECG? What is ECG? Yes, please. Uh, it's electrocardiography. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the electrical representations um, uh, of mm -hmm. uh, on the heart on the body. Yes. Good, excellent. Yes. We can see in the ECG like uh, the atrial depolarization. Uh, QR complex means that uh, the ventricular depolarization and uh, several uh, waves and intervals and a lot of uh, components. Good, excellent. Any other idea? Yes. You also can see the rhythm and the heart rate also. On the ECG, good. So technically, if we want to define ECG, so what is ECG? ECG is actually the electrical representation of the mechanical activity of the heart that we record with the help of leads from the patient on the paper. Clear? So this is ECG. So how we will define it? It is an electrical representation of the mechanical activity of the heart clear now how the body is connected with the machine i mean there is a machine and there will be a body so the body will be connected with the machine with the help of leads. with the help of leads excellent and what are the different types of the leads bipolar bipolar, bipolar. bipolar. bipolar leads and unipolar leads if i ask how many leads are there in total 12 leads are there. So there are 12 leads. Some of them they are bipolar and some of them they are unipolar. Can I ask you what do you mean by bipolar leads? Two poles. Two exact clear pole that those they have two exactly clear pole and unipolar they have one clear pole and one common, common pole. Common. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, what are the what are the placement of the leads? Do you know how we can place these leads on the human body? Yes. Uh, there is uh, like a sentence like, uh, I think, read your green box. Yes, like yes, green, yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, red one for the right arm mm -hmm. and yellow for the left arm. Okay. Uh, you, uh, green for, uh, uh, I think, green one for the left leg mm -hmm. and the black for the right leg. Excellent, excellent. Any other idea? It yes. Depends, it depends uh, if we're gonna take the chest leads. Okay. Leads. Okay. So the leads, just severe. Excellent. So the, the explanation that uh, this colleague has given, the gentleman has given, is the uh, limb leads. What about the chest leads? Yes. Excellent. Leads, yes. Uh, we start with from the view one. Yes. Which is the right side. Okay. And it is the only one of the leads which is in the right side. Okay. Then in the in, in, in this line, straight line, in front of it. From the left side will be the V2. Okay. Then we'll step the V3 to, to reach the V4. Okay. And between the V4 and V2, two will about V3. Okay. And we'll Good. Then we'll the uh, mid-axillary. Okay. We'll about the V5 and V6. Right. Excellent. Yes. Any other idea? So we are actually the V1 will be. What is the actual position of the V1? Third intercostal space, I think. Hmm? Third intercostal yes. space. Yes. Third intercostal space. Fourth, Fourth intercostal space. On the right side of the sternum or the left side of the sternum? Right side. right side of the sternum. So then we have on the right side of the sternum, then we have on the left side of the sternum, similar spaces, and then we will go for V5, which is mid clavicular line, and then V6 in the anterior axillary line. Clear? Excellent. Then how, what are the groups of the leads? Do you know the groups of the leads? The last one is anterior. Okay. Okay. Inferior. So, if I ask, what is the group of the inferior wall of the heart? Yes. Uh, lead two, lead three, and the uh, uh, AVF. 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 Excellent. And what about the anterior wall? Anterior wall. V three and V four. V three and V four. And what about the septum? Yes. V1 and V2. V1 and V2. And what about the lateral wall? 1 AVL, V5 and V6. So these are the leads which are representing the actual cardiac site in the body. Clear? 
So if there is something wrong in 2, 3, A, V, F, so there will be problem in the inferior wall. If there is something wrong in V1 and V2, the chest leads, then there will be problem in the septal, septal, septal wall. And if there is a problem in V3, V4, so there will be problem in the anterior, anterior wall. And if there is a problem in 1, A, V, L, and V5, V6, so then it's so mean that, that this showing representing the anterior, lateral wall. Lateral, lateral, lateral wall. wall. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. How we can, I mean, how uh, we can start, we can see the leads on the ECG. So from where we will go? From the left to right or from the right to left? From, the right to right. from left to right. So whenever we want to see ECG on the paper and we want to read it, we will go from the left to right. So which will be the first lead on the left side? Lead number one. Lead one. Then lead, lead two. two. Then three. lead three. Then AVR. AVL, AVF, and then V1 to V6. What is the peculiarity from V1 to V6? What? Yes. Uh, the first lead and second and third, they are positive. Okay. AVR is negative. Uh, okay. The rest is uh, v, uh, AVL and AVF, they are positive. V1, uh, the, the small power wave, uh -huh. and the R wave progressively increased to V6. Excellent. So now you gave us the whole picture of the complete ECG. So AVR in the limb leads, the AVR will be a total negative lead. Yes. And from V1 to V6 in the chest leads, R wave will be progressively increasing, whereas S wave will be progressively decreasing. Excellent. And then if we want to see the criteria to diagnose someone with the MI, then what will be the good criteria to diagnosing and where we will put ECG there? Yes. It depends on if it's posterior myocardial infarction, maybe we'll change the place of the leads. Okay. But in general, uh -huh. the same place. The same place. place. Okay. And what are all the what are the what are the, what will be the three criteria? Of the MI. Yes. It will be the elevation. Okay. Elevation. ST elevation. Uh, uh, T will be elevations. T okay. T will be elevations. Uh, okay. Uh, depending on the position, the lead will, will define the position of the arm. Okay. Okay, and in totality, if you want somebody come to us with chest pain, so what will be the criteria? History. Out of the three, uh, history, history, yes, history and uh, ECG findings, ECG findings. and exactly. biomarkers. Yeah. Biomarkers. Yeah. Which one will be the good biomarker? Uh, troponin. Depending upon the time, depending upon the time, so troponin is the best biomarker. Troponin will be the best, best biomarker. Okay, now we can have this demonstration that how to put the leads on a real scenario. So, any volunteer? Yes, if you could kindly come here. And any volunteer who can uh, add, uh, who can, who can, who can, uh, I mean, actually show us that how to put leads. Okay, let's come on. So, now you are doing, placing the chest leads. Clear? First, okay. No, I mean the limb leads first. Limb leads. Okay. Limb leads first. Okay. okay. Uh, you can join him. You can give him suggestions. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is the ECG machine. These are the leads. And this is not a patient. He is our volunteer. Okay. Okay. Uh, just lie down. Relax. Yes. So you can come here. You can you yeah. can have a you can have a clear position. Hand hand you can come here. He can handle no, you can come. Side, I will handle the left side. Okay, okay, no problem. You can remove it, no problem. No problem. Yes, yes. Okay. What's your name? Our name You can come here if you want to. You, you want to help him. First of all, as we said, like in this sentence, read your green book. Okay. First of all, we're gonna start with the right arm. Okay. Uh, read uh, needs R for uh, red uh, color. Excellent. Start with no, the so right on, on arm. Yes. Okay. 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 After Good. After that, and wire will be on the inner side. Okay. okay. Lead will be, and wire will be on the inner side. Good job. Then. Then yes. Uh, your means yellow. Yellow. Left arm. Okay. Green Good job. Is, uh, left uh, leg. Green. After that, finally. No, inner side. On the inner side. On the medial side. Yes. Yeah. 
Right yes, excellent. Yes. Yeah. Like this? Exactly. Okay. So okay. this is the typical presentation of limb lead placement. How many leads we have placed here? Just relax. Just Just four. Yeah. Absolutely. How many six? How many? These are six leads. Huh? Yeah. One, one, two, and three. Okay. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. From left to right, yeah, yeah. from right to left leg, and from left leg to left arm. Left arm. Yeah. So we have one, two, and three. And then similarly, we have AVR, AVL, and AVF. So six leads are here. Limbs leads. Clear? Is this clear? Yes. Then we will put six chest leads. We will put six chest leads. And then we can do, and we will go from the fourth intercostal space on the right side, on the sternum of the right side, then on the sternum of the left side, same space, and then fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line, fifth intercostal space anterior axillary line, and fifth intercostal space mid axillary line. So we will start from V1 to V2, then we will leave V3, which will come in between V4, V5, and V6. So V4 and V2, you will be in the middle, that will be V3. Yeah. Is this clear? Yeah. So you are going to show us like this, even on the, on, on the clothes, no problem. Okay. But just show us that how which you will go over there. So now this is your task. You can see which lead is first. This is C1. Yes. C1 is D1. Yes. D1, yes. Okay. Chest lead 1, C1. Lead one. Okay. Approximately, approximately here. Okay. Approximately here. Yes. Here. Okay. On the right side of the chest. Okay. Just, uh, yes. Like this is just an. This is just a. This is just a presentation. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So lead two will be like. Yes. Like on the opposite side of okay. the sternum. We're gonna leave lead three and go yes. to lead four. Uh, lead four. Lead four. D four. Yes. And like this will be the mid clavicular line in the fifth intercostal space. Like yes. Here. Right. And, and this is the mid clavicular line. Also like here. Okay. And that will be there. In the axilla. Okay. And then. And the fourth, like approximately. Middle. Yes. Like you can. You can. You can press it here. No problem. It's it still stuck. Yeah. It's still stuck. No problem. Okay. Yes. For a, for a fraction of second. Like it. Okay. okay. Approximately like this. Yes. Is this clear, guys? So yes. this is how you will put the chest leads, and that is how you will put the yes. limb leads. If you remember this formula, read your green book, then you will never forget and the position and sight or orientation of the bed, placement of the bed will never confuse you. Is this clear? Yes. Because you know that we have to start from the right side. So you will go from the right to the left and from the left to the right. From the right arm to the left arm, from the left leg to the right leg. Is this clear guys? Yes. Any question? No. Any confusion? No, it's very clear. Is this clear? Yes. And I'm sure uh, this will be the last session for our cardiovascular block yes. and uh, hope for the best. I wish you all the best in all your tasks, future tasks inshallah. And we'll see you in the next semester. Thank you very much and best of luck. Thank you very much. Good job. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys.